What's up everybody? It's Mr. Martin and today we're going to continue working on our train project. This time we're going to be making the wheel. Last time we made the body of the train and it looks like this. Um, so if you didn't see that in the last video make sure you check that out. And today we're going to go with the wheel. Um, so the process that we're going to do is that we're going to make a plain sketch and revolve it. I tried making it a few other ways and I found this to be the easiest way in Onshape. So we're going to go ahead and um, start a new sketch, click the um, front plane, go to our front view, and then we're going to make the following shape using lines. So we're going to go from our origin, do a vertical line that is 1.125 inches, then a horizontal line that is 0.25 inches, a vertical line that is 0.375 inches, and then I'm going to make a horizontal line that is 0.125 inches, a vertical line that is half an inch, another horizontal line that's 0.125 inches, and then we'll go down to the horizontal axis and then back to origins. Um, if you want to, you can stretch all these dimensions out so you can see things a little bit clearer. Uh, so it should look like this. And we're going to then use the sketch fillet tool to round the top of the wheel. So that's up here next to the trim. And we're going to click the corner here. And we want a radius of 0.125 inches. And we're going to do the same thing with the other edge as well. Hit enter. So we get a round wheel top here. We're going to then round these four other corners here, one, two, three, four, with the sketch fillet tool. But this time we're gonna do it with a radius of 0 0.0625. Here and here, and hit enter. Then we have four sketch filleted corners there. We can then finish our sketch by clicking the green check mark. Go back to our home view. And now we are going to revolve this. And we're gonna revolve this face around this bottom line that we drew. And it's going to create this wheel shape. All right, next we're going to create another sketch and it's gonna be on this circle here in the middle. We'll zoom in a little bit so we can see it better. And all we're gonna do is place a point at the origin. So we're just gonna click there. And, in, and, and the point is placed. Uh, we can't see it if we're in that right side view. So if you go back to an isometric view, you can see that there's this dot right there and that's the point that we've made. And we're going to click uh, the green check mark and then we're going to select hole from the toolbar and we're going to then select our point and we're going to make a hole that has a simple through hole that has a diameter of 0 0.28 inches and that will cut a hole for us through our wheel. Next we're going to create a sketch plane on this part of the wheel. Again go in here. We're going to make a circle that is gonna be on this axis. It's gonna have a diameter of 0.25 inches and we're gonna dimension it so that the center of the circle is 0.7 inches from the hole we just created. And we're gonna finish this sketch. And right, we're gonna extrude the sketch, this little circle. And we need to select both parts of the circle. It takes could take a few clicks for that to happen. We're going to extrude this a distance of 0.25 inches and we'll be done with that. And so now we have this peg coming out of the wheel and we're going to make a, another sketch on the face of the circle that we just made. We're going to put another circle here centered in the center of the larger cylinder and we're going to make this circle 0.125 inches in diameter and then that's that circle is going to be extruded a distance of 0.125 inches. We're then going to create another sketch here on this face. We're just going to drop a point in the center so we can make a hole. And we're going to make a hole that is 0 .06, 0 0.0625 inches in diameter. And it's going to go not through, but it's going to go a distance of 0.25 inches. So it's going to go depth of 0.25 inches. So a diameter of 0.0625 inches and a depth of 0.25 inches. So we have that hole there now. Now we're going to rotate our wheel so we can see the back of it. 
And we're going to create a sketch on the back of the wheel. And I'm going to make two circles, center point circles. One is going to have a diameter of 1.25 inches. And the second circle is going to have a diameter of 0.75 inches. Then we're going to make a series of 12 lines. Nope, not Siri. Okay. Not Siri, a series. A series. We're going to make 12 lines that radiate from the center of the circle outward. Um, and we're going to dimension the, the lengths of these don't matter. They just need to be longer than the edges of our circle. Um, 12 lines, that'd be three per sector. And we're going to dimension the angles after we get all these drawn. Click the wrong button. And I went to revolve. And now I have to click back into sketch six. Everything is good, though. That kind of stuff happens. I'm going to fast enthralling, entertaining mouse clicking here. All right, next we're going to dimension these lines and we want the distance between all of these lines to be, th or the, we want the, not the distance, we want the angle between these lines that we created to be 30 degrees all around. I'm going to start off by dimensioning this line to the horizontal axis and that's going to just be 15. And then everything else is going to be dimensioned off of that. So 30, 30, made a mistake, 30, 30. Looks like these are all snapped in to place where they should be, which is convenient if the program did it correctly. And then we're good. All right, so we have all these awesome lines drawn now. Uh, now we're going to trim our sketch. So we end up with six wedges. So we're just gonna start clicking away at some things and we want there to be this wedge here. So we're gonna get rid of these lines and these lines and this and this and this and this. We want this wedge. We want this wedge. One here. A little overzealous. A wedge here. All right, so we have six wedges here and we can finish our sketch. And now we're gonna go back to this view and we're gonna extrude and we're gonna cut or remove all six of these. We're going to remove extrude and we're going to remove extrude. Uh, we can just go through all and we're good to go. If we rotate it around, we can see that we have a nice spoked wheel with a pin that we're going to attach uh, so we can attach wheels to each other. Um, and then we're going to put a peg through this hole to attach to the train body. So that's it for today's video. Other than, let's see, we should change this to PLA. PLA and I want to see your mass properties. Um, so your volume should be just under 0.7 cubic inches with a mass of about 0 0.032 pounds. Uh, so hopefully you have found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email or leave them in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as you can. And until next time, be well.